Hey, hey, people. This is Jacob at Settle in Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky. And I'm here today on this beautiful overcast day to show you our 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. I'm going to look around the outside here. It's in fantastic shape. It does need a little bit of a bath. It also needs a little bit better detailing on the interior. But it will clean up very, very well. Now I'm going to go around to the driver's side. This is a vehicle. They built it with every bell and whistle anybody could think of. So it's got everything. It's got massage and seats. Not only are the seats power adjustable and they have memory settings, which is becoming, you know, still an upscale feature, but a standard upscale feature. This goes a step above and beyond all that. So the bolsters are adjustable power, both the bottom and the back. The seat, the middle of the seat, this part right here, um, it can actually be adjusted forward and backward to better or uh, not as good support for your legs according to what you're kind of looking for. So a lot of seat customization there. Um, of course, you got power windows up and down, locks. One thing that I like is you've actually got um, automatic uh, power windows for the back. Most vehicles skimp out on that. I had a vehicle that had it, and so now it's something I always kind of look for because I think it's cool and it's useful, and I just like it. Um, of course, the vehicle has every safety feature you could ever imagine. So it's got blind zone alert, lane change alert, Ford automatic braking, Ford automatic pedestrian braking. Um, it's got parking sensors in the front and the rear, you know, for if you're getting close to something, it'll beep at you. Um, it's got... Uh, just anything you can really imagine. Um, now here, you, know, you see I'm sitting in the vehicle, you've got four different screens here. One of them I've got kind of hidden, so I'm gonna bring it back. I'm pressing that little button there, that'll bring the screen back down. So I'm gonna kind of tell you everything here. But uh, your gauge cluster is all digital, digital dash. So if I press the buttons here on the left side of the steering wheel, it'll show me all kinds of different information. Um, you know, tire pressure, trip information, um, you know, there's off-road information showing you like the tilt and uh, the vehicle, what you're listening to on the radio. Now, where did I have it before? So it takes a second, but it'll actually also bring up the navigation here as well, which I think is very, very nice and something I haven't seen before. So you also got a heads up display, which may be hard to pick up on the camera, but I promise it's there. Um, so it'll actually show you um, the speed that you're going on the dashboard. Again, not picking up in the camera, but I promise it's there. I'll have to show you in person. Something to be excited for. Um, of course, you got heated and cooled seats here um, on the big seat, screen in the center. You know, um, you've, your infotainment screen. It'll show you navigation information, of course. Um, you've got all your comfort controls here as far as also, you know, some redundancy, the cooled and heated seats, the heated steering wheel. Um, you've got controls down here for the, um, for the seats and for the um, massage. You also got all these buttons underneath the screen down here. So you've got like an auto hold button for if you're trying to hold the vehicle on a hill. You've got your lane change alert with lane keep assist. That button turns it off. So right now it's back on. Um, you've got your traction control off there. I would only turn that off if you're stuck in mud or if you're trying to do donuts or burnouts or something. Um, and then uh, your hazards are there in the center. You've got this button, which is that like um, almost automated parking. So you have to play with the brake and the gas for that. Um, so it'll tell you when to use the brake. It'll tell you when to use the gas, but it'll do all the steering for you. It'll find parking spots for you. It's a pretty amazing feature to have and very nice to have in a vehicle this size. Um, you've also got your parking sensors there. Those That button turns those off, but I would leave those on all the time. Um, all it's gonna, all it's there for is to keep you safe, you know. Then you've got your tow haul mode there, and then you got this button which turns the screen on and off over there. So you got four screens up here, and you got a fifth one in the back. So kind of a lot, you know, a lot to go over. Over here on the left, underneath the, I guess the third screen, <laughs> you've got uh, your different driving modes. So the rock, the sand and mud, the snow, the automatic, which is where I would keep it most of the time, and the sport mode, you know, when you're uh, trying to drive a little more aggressively, a little more spirited. You got your shift knob here, and uh, you know, the little letters here to tell you uh, what uh, position the transmission's in. And then over on the right side, um, another crazy awesome thing that this vehicle has is you can adjust the ride height 
up and down. So right now it's at its lowest point. That's what I showed you around the vehicle on the outside. Let's uh, turn it up. We'll set it to its highest point, we'll let it get there, and then when I go back outside, I'll show you what the, the how that adjusted the ride height and what the vehicle looks like when it's at that max setting, but it raises it quite a substantial amount. Don't know the exact number, but I will find out how many inches it changes it. You got your cup holders back here. You got some hidden storage right here in the center. You've also got storage underneath that, a bunch of storage there, and then uh, back behind the screen, I'll pull it back up. You know, you've got some storage down there. This is really meant for you to put your phone there. That's a, a wireless charging pad. You've also got a little outlet there. You've got your USB type C, two, uh, two USB type C's, and then uh, two USB type A ports there, an auxiliary and an HDMI port. Um, so the purpose of that HDMI port is so that someone that's watching that screen can watch videos from either their phone or some other device or from, uh, you know, you can put something on a USB port as well and play video that way if you wanted to. So, um, yeah, keeps you nice and distracted while the driver drives you around. Awesome. Um, but I'm going to go over to the other side here real quick. Well... The ride height changed, right? So I need to show you that. But, and I don't know how much you can tell on the camera, but it almost looks like a different vehicle when it's raised up like this to me. It's kind of crazy. So, but it's definitely much higher than it was before. Feels like a big truck now. So this is the passenger side. Of course, you've got all those adjustments for the seat here as well. You got your window, your locks. But here's the cool thing here, and the thing that makes it unique is you've got the screen here. So if I close that door, um, I wish I had something I could plug in to kind of show you. Um, but like I said, you use those HDM, the HDMI port or the USB ports, and you can play video on here. You can hook up, you know, your favorite set of Bluetooth headphones, and uh, you know, enjoy be entertained oh things i missed up here you got all your controls for you got some lighting controls you know for the interior lights up there but then you've also and you got a button for the back hatch to raise and lower it but you've also got buttons uh right here these three to adjust the uh power sunroof so of course it vents it goes back like it does it goes forward and then you can also just move the screen that third button over on the right side adjust the screen forward and backward so in case you just want the extra light and don't necessarily want the extra air <laughs> but i really like them i'm a big guy which is something i'll show you here in a minute i'm six foot four i'm about 315 so i eat good i drank a lot of milk growing up i still drink a lot of milk um i'll put the seat back for now so here in your second row you've got a center console here you've got kind of the same thing some hidden storage there a bunch of storage down there and then here You've got controls for the rear air as well as the heated seats. So you got a couple different ways you can put these seats down. And where I've got the seats positioned, it may not fall all the way down, but humor me here a little bit. So this seat will fold flat when that seat's forward. But also, you got this button here in the corner. So I press that, it'll bring that seat forward that way. So like I said, I'm six foot four and for about 315 pounds. After lunch today, I'm probably more than that, but I'll bring that seat back with me too. I've got a bunch of space back here. Bunch of space back here. You've actually got power adjustments for the third row here. So I can actually recline the seat a little bit, which is really nice. You got a vent here. You also got USB ports. Of course, those are on both sides. And then you've got that moon roof up here as well. So it's a shade, it's just manual, which is fine for this. But you know, so I can keep it dark. If I want that extra light, I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. I can open that uh, that shade up and get some light in here. But uh, they did a very good job in designing the third row. It's very comfortable even for a big guy like me. So uh, I appreciate that because not all vehicles third rows are designed the same. So I press that little button, the seat goes forward. And then I just step out. Ta-da! Pretty cool. So over here on the hatch, right between this G and this O just about there's a little pad you press that the hatch goes up and then you've got some adjustments here so the third row of course is powered down so you press the button here you hold it the third row will fold down 
And then the second row, it's basically just a power release. So it'll release those seats forward. But like I said, the position I've got those second row seats in and the first row seats, they're not falling all the way flat. So that's something I'll have to show you. Uh, if you wanna lower the tailgate and you're back here, you just press this little button on the left side. It gives you a couple seconds to get out of the way and it'll fold right down. And then I guess, you know, the mechanics of the vehicle are probably important too. So I'm gonna see if I can find the hood latch here. Let's see. There we go. Boop. So there's the big 6.4 liter. It's got a ton of power. And even a vehicle this size, you know, you'd think eh, maybe, you know, the engine's not big enough. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's plenty. You'll see when you drive it if you haven't driven one before. So, it is very fast. But I'm Jacob over at Sutherland Chevrolet. Again, this is our 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Um, I hope to see you soon. If you have any questions, you can reach me here on my cell phone at 859 492-1137 and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.